Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about a feature in 8.0.7.0 and higher, uh, which is boot from USB, or more accurately, it's upgrade or auto-upgrade the device from a USB flash drive. So without any uh, user interaction or anyone having to log in, we'll just insert a USB flash drive with the correct files on it and it will uh, automatically upgrade the firmware, the boot code, um, and all the uh, all the required files as well if it sees a config file on there it will upgrade that as well. So before we begin we need to prepare our USB flash drive. So when you download code from the record support site it's generally going to come in a zip file, so 8070.zip, for example. When you open that up, it's going to have directories for each type of hardware, so a 7150, 7250, 7450, 7650, 7750 directories. And then it's also going to have a manifest file, manifest.txt, and a signature file for that manifest. So we need to extract all or at least some of that onto our USB flash, right? So if, in this case, I'm upgrading a 7150. So I really only need the 7150 directory in the manifest file, but it's easier just to extract them all. So you open that zip, extract them all into the root directory. Uh, make sure you're not extracting them into, so by default, they're going to extract into a, a 08070 file. Uh, if we open the manifest, you'll see that it's just a text file, uh, and so within it is going to have each hardware type and the, the correct boot code and the MIB files and the firmware files and uh, PoE firmware, etc. So we need that. We need the uh, directory for the firmware. So you see I've extracted all of those into my root directory. You'll also see two .cfg files here. So this is an optional part of the upgrade, but if you wish, you can have it automatically upgrade the startup config file. So what it's the system's going to look for a ICX7150.cfg or whatever the model number is, so 7250.cfg, etc. Uh, so that is the primary configuration file it's looking for. If it doesn't see that, next it's going to look for a brocade.cfg file. So if it sees that one, it's going to load that into the start of config. Uh, and if it doesn't see either of those, then it's just going to boot up with no uh, start of config, so a, a blank factory configuration. Now, it's important to note that in order for the USB upgrade or USB boot to happen, it's you need to have no startup configuration on the system. So whether it's a factory reset or a, or a box straight out of the factory, or you've done an erase startup before you started, one of those must be true. Because if you insert that USB and reboot the box and there's an existing startup configuration, this process will not start. So you need to make sure you erase a startup config before you start. Uh, and the reason we do that is simple. You don't want someone to take a USB drive and plug it into a production switch, and the next time it reboots, it's going to get a new startup configuration file off your USB accidentally, right? We want to make sure that you are sure you want to start this upgrade, and so therefore we make you factory default it or erase the startup config before you start. All right, so let's have a look at how this works. So here we've erased the startup config and we've already done a reload off the switch. So it's coming up now. And the first thing it does is you see it reads the manifest.txt file and then it compares what it has. So it compares the boot images, it compares the flash images to what's in the manifest versus what the system has. And if they're different, you can see that it started that process. So um, it says the flash images are the same, but in this case, the boot image is different. So it has started to upgrade that boot image. So it downloads the new image to the device. 
and then it's going to reload again. So we see that it's done the uh, download of the image file, it's done the boot signature, uh, and then it's going to sync that into Flash, and then we'll see a reload right here. So here it's going to shut down. We'll jump forward a little bit to the next time it's come back up. And in this case, now it's it's, it says it's synchronized, so it's got the right flash, it's got the right boot code, and it moves on to the configuration image here. So uh, it now downloads the configuration and reloads for the last time here. So this will come up with the new startup configuration that it's pulled the ICX7150.cfg. Um, and the last piece of this is it's going to compare the PoE firmware, assuming this is a PoE switch, of course. Uh, it'll compare the PoE firmware and do the auto upgrade of the PoE firmware if it doesn't match. So that's it. Simple as that. Extract the correct files onto the USB drive, plug it in, erase the startup configuration, and then reboot the device. It'll upgrade the code, it'll pull the startup configuration file should you wish to do so, and it will also upgrade the PoE firmware files automatically. So pretty simple, helpful new feature, and uh, I hope you make great use of it. Thanks very much. Have a great day.